Hello and welcome to my channel, Heartfelt Crochets by Darlene. So about a month ago, I crocheted a pumpkin because it's that time of the year. It's fall and Thanksgiving's around the corner. Only not quite six weeks away. And I decided that I wanted to crochet a coaster and a placemat to go along with the Thanksgiving theme to decorate the Thanksgiving table. The pumpkin here, I did a tutorial about a month ago. And now I am going to, today, crochet the coaster down here. And then in a couple of days, I am going to do a tutorial crocheting the placemat. So, it is a set of three. So today we're gonna to do the coaster. So let's go ahead and crochet that. So we are gonna make this adorable little pumpkin coaster today. And to crochet this, we are going to be using a five millimeter hook. We're gonna need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So let's go ahead and set those aside. We are using Red Heart Super Saver yarn today. This is in the color Erin. It's a like an off-white. It's really pretty. And this is in the color Medium Time. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to start with the Erin to make the pumpkin. And we are going to start by making a magic ring. And we are going to chain two. Then we are going to crochet double crochets inside this magic ring. And if you're a beginner, to refresh your memory, we are going to yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. That's a double crochet. And we're gonna have a total of 17 double crochets. The chain at the beginning counts as one double crochet, so it will end up being a total of 18 double crochets in the magic ring. I can't believe that it is fall already, you guys. I mean, where did the summer go? It went by so fast. I think about the only time that summers seemed to last any length of time is um, if you're a kid, like summer vacation. When I was a kid, it seemed to last a nice long time. But then, as an adult, when you get children, all of a sudden the summers don't seem to be so long. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to join at the top of the double crochet with a slip stitch. Now let's pull that magic ring closed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to chain two again. Come on. One and two. Then we are going to double crochet in the same space. So that's serving the purpose of two double crochets in this one stitch. And then we are going to do the same thing and two double crochets in each stitch around. And this is increasing. So we are making our circle larger. And 
and you're just going to repeat all the way around in each stitch two double crochets. When you reach the end, you are going to have a total of 34 double crochets. Counting the chain two. Some patterns don't count the chain as a stitch, but in this pattern you do. You can be creative. You can make these in orange, yellow, um, You know, there's all kinds of like red fall colors. If you have seen the fall colors of the foliage as the leaves are changing, those pretty vibrant different colors, you can make pumpkins different different colors so that each place mat in each coaster is a different color. Your table would be really colorful. I think I might do that. Okay, now we are going to slip stitch in the top of that double crochet and pull some more yarn out. And again, we are going to chain two as your first double crochet and double crochet in that same space. And then we are going to crochet one in the next stitch and then double crochet two in the next stitch. one double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way around just go ahead and do that and i am going to ramp the speed up a little bit and see you at the other end Okay, now we have two stitches left and I know that it's going to seem like it doesn't match up, but we're going to go ahead and one single crochet and then two single crochet in the last stitch. Now you should have 50 double crochets and you're going to slip stitch once again to the top of the double crochet and we're going to crochet a slip stitch and then we are going to crochet a single crochet and then a half double crochet and then we are going to double crochet 18. That's one. itch on my nose. Three and four.
So now in the next stitch, you are going to crochet a half double crochet. And in the next stitch, a single crochet. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. And then slip stitch again in the next stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. And then double crochet in the next 18 stitches. Seventeen and eighteen, and then half double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and slip stitch in the next stitch. Okay, so now we're going to chain one. And then we are going to cut our yarn and pull through. And turn it over and pull that ring tight again. And we are going to weave in our ends. Okay, so just going to tuck it in around that ring. And a couple more. Oh, then we're going to go back in the opposite direction. Skip that first one that it's coming out of and just go back a couple. And then snip that yarn. And then we are going to do the same with this one. We're going to thread our yarn needle. And we are just going to randomly weave it through. And then we're going to come back in the opposite direction. And that made it nice and secure so that it won't come undone. And then we're going to snip that yarn. And there's your little pumpkin coaster. Now we are going to make the stem. So we're going to take our medium time yarn and we are going to insert our hook into this. This is the center one. You can see where you had a single crochet and a single crochet then slip stitch, slip stitch, and a slip stitch. So we're going to go into this first slip stitch over here. And we are going to draw the yarn through. And then you're going to 
chain two. Now make sure that you hold this really tight back here because we are going in to the first chain and then we're going to go into the back side of that first chain as well. And that can be a little tricky, so hang on to that piece of yarn in the back. Come on. There we go. And we are going to draw the yarn through. Pull that tight and hold it tight again. Yarn over, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we are going to insert our hook under this stitch and into the back side of that stitch as well, right here. So once you get your hook under those two, you're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Now it will be easier from here, okay? You, uh, if you turn it over, you will see these two loops. You are going to insert your hook underneath those two loops. Draw through one and then draw through two. And then we're going to repeat that. Make sure you don't go right in here because you want to go under two, not under three. And then one and then two. What we're doing here is a foundation chain, okay? So, so far, if you turn it and you flip it, we have one, two, three, four, five. And we are going to do that twice more because we want a total of seven. So you are going to insert your hook under this first loop here and then the one right in the back. Come on and yarn over and pull through those two, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then do the same thing one more time. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're going to turn this sideways and we are going to crochet in each one of these single crochets. Okay, so a single crochet in that first stitch and then a single crochet in the next stitch. So now we are going to decrease. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Then we are going to single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and then we're going to pull that tight. Now we are going to skip this slip stitch, go in to the next, and slip stitch. Chain one. Cut the yarn, pull through. Now that decrease gave us that little bend in the stem. Now we are going to flip it over. And we're just going to slide a hook underneath the back side here and grab that end and pull it through because we want this to be on the back side with this first strand and we are going to create a slip knot and then we are going to snip this extra piece off and thread our yarn needle and we are going to weave these ends back up through the center of the stem. Let's go up just a couple more.
Now we're going to re-thread our yarn needle. And come back down the other way. Skip that first one that it's coming out of and go into the next. And just weave your needle down through. And pull that through. And snip the ends. And there you have your little stem. Now this is a set of three. Remember, we have the placemat that's coming up in a couple of days. So stay tuned for that tutorial. And if you want to crochet the pumpkin that goes along with this set of three, I'm going to leave the link to that both in the description box and at the end of this video. So if you are enjoying these tutorials and you are looking forward to finishing this set with me, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in a couple of days to crochet the placemat. Until then, bye!